Scared me there, this guy. Right then, guys, welcome back. We are in the city of Lahore, and I am stood in the courtyard of quite possibly the most symbolic, iconic structures in Pakistan. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to introduce you to the Bath Shaymistur. One of the largest mosques in the world can hold up to 100,000 people. How do I feel? To be honest with you, I can't put it into words. It's just mind-blowing, really is, to see this. You can see the minarets on both sides. There's not too many people here because it's very, very warm. We've come at a particular uh, not so busy time of the day. The sun's out, it's about 40 degrees. We're gonna see if we can get hold of a tourist guide who's gonna show us around the mosque. I think we might have come across some people here. Asalaamu Alaikum. Okay, postcard name. Tourist guide. Tourist guide. We need a tourist guide. No, 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 we, we need a proper guide. We need a proper guide. Somebody who can speak English and explain exactly what this structure means and why it was built when it was built. The guy is asking for 2,000 rupees uh, for the tour guide. I've told him 1,000, but we'll go 2,000. Yeah, he's saying he's going to give us a very good tour guide of the mosque. Right. This, this mosque, What's your name, sorry? Uh, my name is Nadir. Nadir, Nadir. So, where do you want to take us first? This mosque, 350 years old. Right. Built by Aurangzeb Alamgir. Aurangzeb Alamgir, so, six Mughal emperors, son of the Shah Jahan. Right. Built by Aurangzeb Alamgir. This is the second historical mosque in the world. Right. Third big in the Pakistan. Right. Third mosque, big in the Pakistan. Okay. First one, Jamia Mosque, Grand Jamia Mosque, Barrier Town. First one, right. big in. Do you want to walk and talk? Yeah. yeah. Second one, Sambad, first Faisal Masjid. Third one, Bachi Mosque, Lahore. Right. Okay. Your, Eng your English is very good. Where have you studied? My, my, my English is a little bit. No, it's very good English. Very good English. My experience is 33 years. 33 years. So tell me more about the forts along the sides. Left hand, right hand, you take India as a used to Madrasa. Right. Yeah, this one and right. this one as a used to Madrasa. Right. These are Madrasas for teaching the kids. Yeah. yeah? Right. So what he's saying is the way the building is constructed, when the Imam used to do the call of prayer, the echo, echo and vibration, echo and vibration would amplify, and there was no need for speakers. Have a look a bit more about this. So if you look at the design on here, the interior design. A lot of flower painting. Yep. Red sand on and white marble. Right. Okay, show us around. This is the main prayer pray chamber. Right, the main prayer chamber, yeah. Look at some of this. Stand here. Aapne feel ke nahin, look at it. Right. Stand. 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 Well, on this side here? Yeah. Right. Wow. Echo. 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 Where's yeah. that coming from? Try for you. Hello. Wow. Is that you? Yeah. Hold on. Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. Can you hear that echo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You say it again? Wow. Stand here. Wow. It's too, wow, that's amazing. It's constructed in a way that echo yeah. acts as speakers. And to look at some of this interior design here. Wow. Is this all from 16. 71 years? Yeah, 1671 to 73. Took two years to construct. Three years. This is the most complete theory. Right. I saw the Divaro Kekan. Right, okay. 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 Right, okay.
Show him the camera there. This way. Come here, come here. That guy is talking in the corner. Come closer. I can actually hear him speaking. Yeah. Wow. Sure. That's brilliant, that. That's amazing. That's the way the echo, uh, the way they've constructed it. 50 years old. 300 and microfiber phone system. Phone system. Not single problem. Yeah, no. this is a speaker system, 250 years old. Amazing. And is this all this original same yeah, design? Yeah, this is the original painting. Ori 50 year old. Ori original, painting. original painting as this well? This is the fresco painting. Fresco. Vegetable and food ke juices nikal ke boil karke unke saath jitte. Right. How about the food? Vegetables? Juice, yeah, unko boil kya jata tha unke paas aajay paint sing. Right, so they use vegetable foods to get the dye. Yeah? Wow. I'm truly astounded at the way they've got the speaker system working. There was no electricity then. They were relying on uh, echo. Sorry? You, you want me to stand you, here? You stand, so, you stand, you stand. stand. Like, like this, beautiful. Right, okay. Wow. Perfectly. You uh, stand, you stand. I take a photo of you. Yeah. Stand, stand. Look, look, look at look, look, look me. Look me. Yeah. Right. Nice. Recording. Yes, yeah, will you? Fine. This is also, the main so, chamber. This is the main chamber, yeah? Yeah, break chamber. Something which this I one. something which I remember about coming to Bhatshay Mosque when I was a kid was how aligned everything is. The pillars, when you look from outside, they're perfectly aligned. Is that yes. still the case? Let me have a look. Is it here? No, no, in the main chamber. This was built by Aurangzeb Right. Son of the Shah Jahan. Son of Shah Jahan, the Mughal Emperor, right. Six Mughal Emperors, Aurangzeb Ali. Right. Six Mughal Emperor, right. Wow. Starting this project, 1672, took one to 1673, three years, total complete. Right. 20,000 workers at a time. 20,000 yeah. workers at a time, and it took two years yeah. to complete, which was an absolute amazing feat as well. People. 176 feet high this tower. 100, 175 feet. 175 feet. 4 steps. 204 steps. Not straight. Meaning that, meaning that 5 degree outside. Yeah. yeah. He's told me to stand here and say, Hello, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I can feel the echo. And not even that, if you look down the line there, how perfectly this seems to be such yeah, a big mirror. Yeah, mirror. it's all the way down perfectly symmetrical. We got a few spectators as well. Asalaamu alaikum. Pakistan? Zindabad, mashallah. Yeah? Yeah, very much. There's so much of an echo. So the, the, I uh, the Imam sahab the, right. Bismillah Rahman. I was used to Madrasa. Right. Calling them Bismillah Rahman Rahim lost all right. So what he's saying is this area here was even now when I'm talking I can hear my echo. This was a madrasa. The imam would sit here. There'd be children all the way down the bottom there. And he, when he would recite, the children could hear river. all the way down to the bottom because of the way the echo. Right. The river Ravi. Right. It's a river. The river Ravi. Here, three kilometers. Far away. There used to be a river here. River. The cold air entered. It didn't have any feeling. Right. He said there used to be a river over here, and that used to have a cold breeze coming into the mosque. But I'm just totally, totally astounded of the, speed, the, the echo system and the way the Mughal Empire used their knowledge to create something like this. Absolutely amazing. Heat, like I said, 40 degrees. Get one of these if you're coming to Pakistan. You're going to need it if you're coming to this one. Is that the old city Lahore? Which one? Let's have a look. Let's zoom in there. He that says, is a very restaurant, second one, Coco's, Fort right, Street. Right, yeah, we're going to be going to the Food Street later on. Wow. Beautiful, this mosque. Beautiful. So, 100,000 people can actually yeah. enter this mosque. Crazy. This mosque. Now, tell me more about the, the fortresses around third the mosque. Third big in the Pakistan, this mosque. Third, third big, big in the Third big in the Pakistan. Grand Yamai Mosque, Bariaton. Right. Second one, Islamabad. Right. Tessal Mosque. Third one, Bhati Mosque. Right. That is the entrance gate of the Lahore Fort. That's the Lahore Fort, yeah. This is what I was saying to you before. Built look you, look down the side here and you'll see how perfectly aligned them are. 
acting. They are absolutely dead in line there. That is absolutely amazing. And it's like that on all four sides of this mosque. That tells you the genius, the architect behind this mosque. Uh, to do this in 1671 was quite a feat. And it's all the way down the four sides, all the way, all the way along. Everything is aligned perfectly. There seems to be a lot of people gathering at the mosque. Um, prayer times, prayers have just finished. There's quite a few people still hanging about, you can see. Uh, I mean, if you've got someone like this at your back door, what you, you know, like this at your doorstep, you'd want to spend a lot more time here. You can see the structure behind me. It's just absolutely mind-blowing. Absolutely mind-blowing. Um, if you're asking me what sort of emotions I'm feeling, I'm, I'm feeling happy, joyous, sad. I don't know. I can't put it into words. Standing here and seeing this structure. Amazing. Of the mosque, one big gate. Uh -huh. One big gate, five small gate, left end, right. five right end, one big tombs, right. one small, one left yeah. end, one, two, three, and four minutes. Yeah, all yeah. the way along. One big door, Allah is great, is one. Okay. Yeah. Five small door, five time pray of the day. Right, yeah. the five prayers. Five pillar of Islam, five, five pillar right. of left end. Right, okay, yeah. wow. One big tombs, Allah is great, and oh. one oh, Yes. Yeah. Prophet is one, yep. one small down. Yeah. Quran Park is one. Right. Yeah. One. Left that end. symbolizes the three domes, and then you got the the smaller domes on the side. One, two, three, four. Three Fahur Rashid in four. Well, it's been quite an amazing trip. It took us a while getting here. It's very, very hot. It's nearly forty degrees. That's and so on. From yeah. Jaipur, pink city of the in yeah. the park, India. Yeah. Rajasthan. And uh, that's I had to come to Bath Shai Masjid. I had to come here and I had to show you guys. Guys, I hope you're enjoying the travel vlog. Uh, if you got any feedback, chuck it in the description box. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel. Uh, what can I say? I've just been blown away by that structure behind me. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, guys, I'll see you for the next one. <laughs> it's a golden eagle, he tells me. Have a look at the claws. We're here, very sharp. I'm a bit nervous at the moment. It's a bit unsteady as well. It's a very, very heavy bird. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Scared me there, this guy. <laughs> not, not.